Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapchat here. In today's episode, I'll be reviewing the uh, latest patch that dropped yesterday. So buckle up, here we go. First we start with the uh, following statement. It is strongly recommended that players delete their uh, user and shader folders for the public line after patching. Particularly if you start encountering any odd character graphical issues or crash on loading. The user folder can be found in uh, the default installations at, and they give you the they give you the folder, and the shader folders can be found in uh, in the local app data slash star citizen. So I've never done this actually. Whenever uh, we've had a, a any kind of a patch, so I don't know how important this is. It does say it, it helps if there's an, if you're having this particular issue uh, that you're seeing uh, the crash on loading. So. I don't know. I, I haven't done it on mine yet, so we'll see. I've been playing since yesterday. Uh, next, we're hit with this. Uh, database reset. Yep. Yep. I saw that. I had to go through that. Long pers persistence is enabled, which, you know, that's good. Uh, starting AUEC 20,000. I This I don't understand. Does it mean that we're going to start with 20,000 credits? Because when I logged in after the install, I still had my 180,000 credits sitting around. So I'm not sure what that means exactly. I've heard reports from some of my other uh, fellow Star Citizens who uh, actually lost a ton. They went from like 2 million down to like almost nothing. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, so now we're into the meat of the uh, meat of outstanding issues that SIG is aware of but is not covered by this patch. Uh, the Saber Raven VFX green screen Flickering uh, light fills the screen when sat in the pilot's seat during weather VFX. Uh, the players will receive a loner saber. So I guess kind of sucks to be a saber raven owner. <laughs> I don't know. I had a saber, but not the raven. Um, this is a fun little ship. I liked it a lot. Good times. All right. Uh, players may have to restart the game after getting kicked to the main menu from a 30k server crash. Well, that's just... Just uh, uh, insult to injury there, I guess. But I guess we'll have to live through that. Hopefully, maybe they'll fix that in the next patch. Targeting. A ship's uh, targeting pit may be missing or disappear for some players. They cannot be targeted when this happens. Oh, that's just lovely. So glad I don't do a whole lot of, uh, of um, bounties. <laughs> that would be kind of sucky. Um, Multi-vehicle. Ships floating in the hangar when stored with the engines left on, uh, then retrieved again. Yeah, I've, I've had that issue. I found a workaround for it, and I also made a video about it. So if, if you are if you see that problem, uh, I have the uh, link listed in the description. Go watch it. It saved my life because I actually had a, uh, was a Freelancer Max full, full of cargo. So even if I could claim it, I wouldn't want to. Um, and I, I went online and spoke to a few people and they, they set me straight on how to fix that issue. So if you see that, go check out my video. Uh, there's some comments related to it in there saying that one of the steps isn't necessary. I mean, that's great, but I don't care. It worked. So <laughs> in case you run into that problem. All right. Um, ships character animation. Uh, the player character arm will misalign when seated in ships, causing obstruction of HUD in view. And I've had this issue a couple of times and it is really annoying it is so hard to fly when your arm is basically in your face you you cannot I mean you, you can go to uh, you know press press f4 and, and go to camera view but it's really annoying so unfortunately it's going to be annoying for a little while longer kind of sucky um, let's see what else. Uh, vehicle spawning the uh, Car 2 Owl spawns on the hangar floor sideways. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have that ship. Sorry for you guys. Uh, vehicle ships, shields, weapons fire, penetrates shields when ships are moving. Lovely. Lovely. Um, I guess don't move. That's that's That works for me because then I don't run into things and blow up. So, uh, Vehicle ship refuel. While docked to a starfarer, multiple vehicle types will continuously tilt <laughs> instead of remaining stationary. That's just great. And snap away from the arm if any movement is attempted. That, that's just lovely. 
Like, the Starfarer doesn't have enough problems, you know? Uh, vehicles. The Argo Raft's elevator controls cannot be interacted with from either deck. Yeah, I... That's been a problem for a while. I bought a raft in-game a couple months ago, and it was a little annoying that you could not um, leave the ship <laughs> using the elevator. I had to go out the airlock, and when I first got it, I I was very concerned that if I jumped out the airlock in a normal uh, in normal gravity, I would die, you know, or severely injure myself. Especially when I was doing it. Actually, I guess I was doing it in, in a low gravity environment at the time. I was over to aerial, and. Uh, I, that's when the first time I found that out, and I had to hop out the airlock. It's pretty funny. But you think they would have fixed that by now? That's that's been a problem for a long time. I don't know what, why that's so hard to fix. Um, doo -doo -doo, uh, Crusader Ares. The headlights on Ares are too dim to notice at reasonable range. Well, you know what? I don't care because I have the exact same problem with my RSI Scorpius. So, um, welcome to the club. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned. Animation, weapons, all weapons are held like a pistol while moving an EVA. Um, hmm. I've noticed that, but I don't EVA a whole lot, so uh, we'll see. Uh, combat AI, uh, UGF missions are sometimes missing NPC spawns to complete the mission. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that a couple times, so I, I feel the pain. FPS weapons. Uh, weapon holsters or unholsters unintentionally. Yeah, you think? That happens to me all the time with my um, uh, with my tractor beam. You know, I mean, I know it's, it's a weapon, but still. That's the only one I noticed it with. All the other weapons seem to holster fine. It's the tractor beam that I get stuck held holding on to. So, be nice if they fix that. Armor weapons. Utility items may disappear between sessions. Interesting. Um, I've never seen that. Between sessions, I mean, they must mean like when you log out, log back in. I don't know. I've never had that happen to me, but I've had it happen while I'm playing where my tractor beam disappears on me and all of a sudden I lose that and I don't know where it went. I don't see it on the ground. I don't see it in my backpack. It's not on me. It's nowhere. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Inventory weapons. Weapons looted directly equipped from containers, boxes, are missing attachments. No. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've noticed that either. But Aesop. Ships on landing pads end up in unknown state for location and have to be reclaimed after the ship is stored or streamed out. I would be really mad if that happened to me. Oh, man. I mean, if it was loaded with cargo, which you know, sometimes it is. I would be very upset. Or even sometimes I leave things on my ship, like food, you know. Um, sometimes I'll leave weapons, maybe. But usually it's, it's food. I'd still be upset. Missions. UGF Bounty Hunter. Turrets around bunkers respawn very quickly, sometimes almost instantaneously. I don't know what the time is that they're supposed to take to... Spawn. I actually did a video where I took a uh, one of the Nova, uh, took an overtank, drove it over to a mission for a bunk a bunker mission I did, and destroyed the turrets. I just wanted to see if a would they actually respawn. I wasn't sure. I'd, I'd never destroyed a turret before, and I wanted to see how long it took. And they it didn't respawn instantaneously, but it was within like a minute or two. It wasn't very long, not not long enough to make it worth destroying for what I put into to destroy it. All right. Uh, multiple locations, R&B stations. Stations are variably offset from the range point they are housed within. Um, I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. I'm still getting used to the whole how we have to, you really have to, it used to be, you know, you pull up the, the um, skyline, you just click on, you know, Arc L1 or whatever, and that would be it. And then you, you would just fly to it. Now you got to double click on it and then pick the right one. And then, you know, basically, it's, like an, it's not really an additional hop, I don't think, but it's just additional navigational uh, navigational selection in the skyline. But so far, I've not flown to a, to a point, or flown to a station and not had it been where, I, where it should have been. I don't know. Oh, well. Anyway, if anybody else has seen that, please comment. Okay, then comes the feature updates. 
Gameplay, combat assistance, service beacons. Lowered frequency of low threat missions, which is great. I tried these once and it, it didn't work for me. It was bugged, but I tried it anyway. But yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, all the ones I saw were the low threats. Anyway, uh, increased frequency of moderate to high to critical threat missions. That's good. Fixed an issue that was causing combat assistance service beacons to pay much more than intended. Well, I'm okay with that. You know, I mean, <laughs> um, I did hear that was a problem though. People were reporting that. Uh, additional bounce, additional bounce pass to combat assistance payments and adjusting probabilities of mission difficulty spawn frequency. Okay, I don't really know exactly what that means. So, whatever. Um, so, but they fixed it, so that's good. Um, change max button on shop kiosks to plus ten. I, I did notice that today when I went to um, uh, buy a few things over at uh, my uh, local store for uh, weapons and whatnot. I picked up some, I had to restock, um, restock my water supply on my C2 because, you know, we just did this uh, reset, which of course gets rid of all of your sustenance. So, and usually I loot it, but I wanted to have a little bit in, on hand for at least initially to make sure I was gonna be okay until I could loot some. Friends list is now sorted alphabetically. That's cool. I think that's, that's I'm sure there are, I don't, do, I don't do a whole lot of, of, uh, hanging out with people online, so, or, you know, in the game, so, I just never noticed that, but I'm sure people who do, I'm sure that's probably, probably pretty good. Ships and vehicles, reduce the HP of multiple parts on the Asperia blade. Well, it sucks if you own a blade. <laughs> I don't own one, but that's unfortunate. All right, and now the part we're all, we've all been waiting for, um... The uh, bug fixes fixed an issue causing multiple elevators to break and not function. Well, that anytime they fix an elevator is a good thing, I think. Uh, I admit I have not been killed by an elevator in a very long time. The only problem I've had is actually is getting on them sometimes, like coming out of the habs. If you're on a space station, you walk, you try to walk into the elevator, and it's like there's a force field right there preventing you from entering. So a lot of times I've just, as a workaround for that, I just take off everything I'm wearing and kill myself. And then I end up waking up in the, the same station I'm in that I'm waking up in. Because I usually, that's where I transfer my uh, uh, my imprint. Um, so that's kind of how I got around that. But it's good to see they're still working on the elevators. Um, party launching should now work more consistently. That's great. I didn't realize that was a problem. Uh, fixed an issue causing player medical beacons to not complete mission slash payment when players brought back from incapacitation. That's something actually I wouldn't mind getting into is the uh, the medical game loop um, in uh, Star Citizen. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, basically, I can manage a med pen so far, and that's about it. So, uh, fixed an issue causing UGF missions AI to go missing and block missions from completing. Interesting. I didn't realize the AI could go missing. Um, but I've definitely had a lot of UGF missions where I kind of show up and usually the, the, the bad guys don't show up. So I think that's a different bug. Uh, fixed a bug with the, with, uh, the search and destroy mission where probes destroyed counter reports wrong. If you destroy the probes before the mission, says you located them. I'm not familiar with that mission. I'll have to look that one up. That sounds like the illegal monsters detect the mission, but I don't think that's what they're referring to. Anyway, a uh, ship should no longer get stored at pleasure upon completing the prison sentence. Interesting. I, I've been to prison numerous times, and my ship was never shown up as stored at Clesher. That's funny. Um, okay. Uh, fixed the cargo hold area of space derelict reclaimers that allowed players to to clip and see through the hull. Interesting. Okay. Um, hull A, Empyrean, Horizon, and Dusk Paints should no longer be missing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, hmm. Uh, the rear of the Drake Mule should no longer start to float if the vehicle navigates over steep inclines and hills. 
I might actually notice this if I used it. And really, once 3.1a comes out and the mule actually does something, I will be so happy. I'll, I'll use the crap out of that thing. That would be great if I can actually haul like 1SCU boxes in it and things like that. That'd be awesome. NPCs on dropships should no longer be completely unresponsive for an extended period. Hmm. Okay. Um, that must be the Ghost Hollow mission up on, uh, up on, uh, Microtech. Um, okay. Uh, fixed in issues, fixed an issue causing players to have an infinite load screen after recovering from a client crash while in a ship or vehicle. Yeah, that would kind of suck. I'm glad they fixed that. I don't think I've had that problem. Uh, player list in Comlink app will no longer reset scroll position back to the top when the player list updates. Okay. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Um, fixed an issue that was causing combat assistance service beacons to pay much more than intended. Yeah, that's, well, I consider that more of a feature, but I kind of wish they left that. <laughs> Players should no longer be arrested when using Orison Spaceport docking port elevators. That is hilarious. I don't go to Orison very much, but I mean, talk about, what, insult to injury? It's bad enough you have to fly through... I don't know how many kilometers you have to fly through to actually get to Orison of, of atmosphere to get to Orison, and then they arrest you. You get—I guess you're getting a crime stat. That is funny. Uh, sending AUC to a player not in the sender's instance will no longer cause a cause the AUEC to disappear into the void. Oh man. Oh, that would be painful. Renting ships should no longer give a transaction error. Well, that would be nice. That would be nice. I've never run into that, but I haven't had to rent a ship in a long time, so, but that would be nice, yeah. So good for them. Good, good fix. Um, the go-to mission objective, part of the unauthorized surveillance detected missions, should no longer fail after player has already completed the mission contract. Good, good. I'm not familiar with that mission. That must be, that sounds again like like the one I'm used to up in up in um, Microtech, the illegal monsters detected. So I think that that must be one like down around Hurston or something. Well, let's see, Aegis Gladius uh, Foundation skin should no longer obscure the cockpit view. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Great. So you paid seven bucks a rare for a skin, and you what? You can't see out the cockpit, and that's just great. All right. And lastly, the technical section of the patch notes, although um, I didn't get a lot out of it, it actually reads a lot like my reports at work. Um, I, I'm actually a, a developer by trade. So yeah, my, my, my uh, weekly reports look a lot like this. Um, fixed eight client crashes. Yay. Fixed nine server crashes. Yay. Fixed two server deadlocks. All right. Fixed a back-end server service crash that was causing AUEC wallets to reset to zero. Ooh, yeah, that's, I've been there. I've had that happen to me. So, uh, made many back-end super P cache improvements to make it more robust. Okay, that means nothing to me. I have no idea what that means. So yeah, like I said, this reads a lot like my weekly reports. Basically, I did a lot of work. Yeah, you know, very generic. Doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but I don't know. Maybe some in the comments can tell me what this means, but this doesn't help me, you know, with my gameplay at all, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe except for that, uh, with that fifth button there, the, the fixing the uh, AUEC wallets to reset to zero. <laughs> That's bad. And I've had that happen to me. Not to zero, I've gone down to four credits before. That was pretty bad. So anyway, there you have it. Welcome to the latest patch for 3.17.2. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Scratch it out.